Hello, this is Adam. We just released the seventh update to BDocs Timeline 2, and I'd like to show you the new NetNewsWire importer that we've added. Now, in the last update, we added an RSS and Atom feed importer, where you could type the URL of a news feed and it would chart it out. But the exciting thing about the NetNewsWire importer is if you use NetNewsWire to keep track of all your blog subscriptions and newsfeed subscriptions, then you don't have to remember any URLs. We'll just port them right over from NetNewsWire. Let me show you NetNewsWire in case you haven't seen it before. It simply keeps track of all your blog and newsfeed subscriptions. It checks for updates periodically and it downloads them to your computer so that you can really quickly go through all the newsfeed items that you've got. Uh, one thing about the BDOX timeline um, NetNewsWire integration is that it works with these cached files that NetNewsWire has already downloaded. Um, so it should work very quickly and it should be the exact same content that you've got in NetNewsWire. Let's go ahead and create a new timeline in BDOX timeline based on one of our news feeds and we're going to base it on this Apple news feed. There's no images in it so I'm going to turn off import images. And then the summary text is nice and short in this blog, so I'm going to go ahead and import the newsfeed contents in the notes. I'll just select the timeline from this list of subscriptions that matches NetNewsWire, and in a few seconds, this Apple Hot News timeline uh, will be created automatically for us. And here it is. I would also like to show you what a news feed with images looks like when it's imported into BDocs Timeline. This is the Joy of Tech comic strip, uh, their news feed, and you can see that each of these items has a small image in it. So let's go ahead and create a chart of this news feed. We'll go back to BDocs Timeline and choose a look, and then the Net Newswire importer. But before we go on here, I want to point out that several of these importers, like the Sketch, Aperture and Net Newswire Importer will only show up if you have these applications installed on your hard drive. When you launch BDocs Timeline, it uses Spotlight to see which applications are installed on your machine, and then will show you the appropriate importers for those applications. So if you don't see Net Newswire here, go download it and install it on your machine, and then it will show up. So let's go ahead and choose that Joy of Tech news feed and we'll import the images, the title, the date, and a link to the news item this time. We will not import contents. A lot of times, if, especially if contents are very long, um, you will not want to import them. And I'll click Create Timeline. And here's our timeline from the joy of tech. Now remember, any of these events, if you've imported the link, you just select the event and click the link button, and it will launch the original news item in your web browser. I hope those of you who are bloggers and NetNewsWire users uh, will love this new feature in VDocs Timeline 2.0.7, and thanks for watching.